In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Linktree account. So if you don't know what Linktree is, it's basically a landing page where you can add all links that you want to share with others. So it's really simple. All you have to do is create an account, then add the links which you want to share with others all on one page. And then just by sharing that one page, everyone can access all the links. So now without wasting more time, Let's get straight into it. So for this video, I'll show you how to create this on your laptop, but you can follow the same steps and make it on your phone as well. So let's get started. First, you have to go to your browser and then search Linktree login. So here, scroll down and click on this option that says login. So now, if you've created an account before, you can just enter your Linktree username and password or else, if it's the first time, then you'll have to sign up. So to do this, just click on sign up that's over here. And now, we need to enter our email ID and our Linktree username. Then click on create account. After that, enter a password and click on continue. So over here, they've asked for your name. So just enter that. And now they'll ask a few more questions. So here they're asking the reason why you're creating a Linktree account. So pick any option which you want. Then enter a subcategory and click on continue. Then here, they have different plans. So they have a free version, which anyone can use. Or else, if you want some more features and customizability, you can check out the paid options, which are here. For now, I'll stick with the free one. Then scroll down and click on join for free. So now everything is done and I just have to verify my email ID. So I'll click on continue. And now I'll go to my inbox and verify it. As you can see, I've received this email and I'll just click on verify email. And now my account has been verified. So again, I'll click on sign in to continue. And now you'll reach this dashboard. And from here, you can create your Linktree page. So first, I'll quickly show you around the dashboard. Over here is the actual place where you can add the links. After that, on top, you can change the appearance, go through analytics, and they have some settings. And on the right, you can see how your page looks on a phone. So now, let's get started with building our page. The first thing we'll do is add the link. So just click on Add Link. And first, you'll have to enter the URL. So for now, I'll just add my YouTube channel. and then click on add. So now as you can see, the link has come here and now we have some options to change the appearance. So first, we can change the title. So if you just click on this button here, then we can edit the title. So now I changed it from the long website URL to just YouTube. And on the right, you can see the change as well. Now only YouTube is written. After that, you have some options below. So if you want to add a thumbnail for this, just click on this button that's here. Then click on set thumbnail. After that, you can upload your own thumbnail or choose one from the table icons. So I prefer just choosing one. They have some pretty good options here. Then I'll search YouTube and select this. And now, as you can see, the appearance has changed. YouTube is written and on the left, we have this icon. Then you have some more options like prioritizing this link. So they'll make sure people see this link before the others. Then you can schedule when notifications and links go live. And then you can lock this link 
and then you can see the analytics and clicks of this link. So the same way, I'll quickly add a few more links. So now, as you can see, I've added two more links and the same way, I can change the title and add a thumbnail. So currently on the right, it looks pretty boring, but in the next couple of minutes, it's going to look a lot better. So I'll quickly do that now. So now, as you can see, I've changed the headings and I've also added thumbnails for each of these links. Then what you can do is rearrange these links. So currently my website is on top, but if I want to put YouTube, then I can just click on these six dots here and then drag it on top. So each of these links are basically like boxes and you can just drag and drop them whenever you want. So this is basically how to add links and you have to follow the same process to add more and more links. Then if you want to add a heading, just select this option that says add header. And now I can add the title. And you can see the changes again on the right. A new title has come here. So once you're done with this, I'll go to the next page, which is appearance. So just click on it over here. Now in appearance, you have quite a few options. You can add an image if you want. After that, you can keep the profile title or remove it and then add a bio. So I'll quickly do this. I'll pick an image. So now as you can see, the image has been added. Then I can remove this profile title if I want and then just add a bio. After this, you can add social icons as well. So usually how websites have all their social media at the bottom, you can do the same thing over here. Right at the bottom, you can again put links to your social media. And if you want to, you can just click on add social icons. After that, click on add icon. Then here, select the social media icon, which you want to add. So I'll select Instagram. Then I'll enter my username. And click on add to link tree. Then you can change the position if you want, but I prefer keeping it at the bottom. And here you can see how it looks. So the same way, you can add multiple social media icons and they'll all form a line at the bottom. So now I've come back to the appearance page and I'll show you the last setting over here, which is themes. So most of the themes are available with the pro version, but they also have some options if you have a free account. Just scroll down and here you can see all of the free options. So just select whichever one you like. Let's say this one. And this will change the background of your Linktree page. As you can see, the background and the font has changed. So pick whichever one you like. So I guess this looks good for now. So now, after you've added social icons, changed the theme, there's only one thing left to do, and that's share this Linktree page with others. So they have many options to share it. If you click on share on the top right over here, then here you can see all the different ways. First, you can add it to your social media accounts. Then you can get a QR code if you want. Otherwise, you can just copy the Linktree URL that's at the bottom over here. So I'll click on copy. And now I can share it with anyone. And if they search this, they'll reach my page. I'll show you how it works. I've come to a new tab and I'll paste it. And this is how my Linktree page looks. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know how to create a Google form, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.